Eric B's daily vlogs. The past couple of vlogs, I've been getting a lot of whispers in my mic. So today I decided to trigger these whispers right here at the Golden Gate National Cemetery with a nice view of the Golden Gate Bridge right there. But yes, today I'm going to see if I can trigger any disembodied voice voices and see if I can get someone to talk into the mic. We'll talk about this more on the other side of the break. So let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs inside the Golden Gate National Cemetery with a beautiful, stunning view of the Golden Gate Bridge right behind me right there. But that's not what I'm here for today. The vlog that I posted right before this one when I'm walking around the panhandle of the Presidio, I was walking around and all of a sudden there was a little whisper. A oh, little whisper, you can vaguely hear it but when i do my posts and i edit my videos i could hear the little whisper in the background i'll let you guys listen to this whisper right after this clip but here we are we're going to talk about the golden gate national cemetery a lot of soldiers who served for our country are buried here and i'm gonna try to entice them to speak into the mic. So if there's anything they want to say, come here and whisper and say it in the mic. I'm gonna go check out how big this place is. I'm just gonna walk maybe like the first couple areas just to see if I can entice a ghost to speak to me. We'll talk about this more on the other side. Let's go. Let's go. But listen to the clip for that ghost in the vlog from the other day. This side here says no bicycles, no skating. So this is the more pedestrian friendly path of Golden Gate the Panhandle. I keep saying Golden Gate Park, but it's Golden Gate Park's Panhandle. So we're going this direction right here. I don't know if you guys heard it, but right when I started walking and I talked about this lane is only for bikes and bicycles or no bicycles, no whatever. You hear, you heard a little whisper, and it was a really subtle like. That's me whispering. That's me again whispering, but that's the sound that you can hear. And so what I'm here today is to walk around amongst this area. But before you go, no firearms or weapons allowed in this property. I'm gonna walk around the massive. National Cemetery. We're going to walk up that direction. I'm going to probably stick to the sidewalks and not disturb the peace just to hear if I can hear anybody whisper. So if there's anyone that wants to whisper, feel free. Feel free. See, these are some of the people who are buried here. This picture's been, it's been here so old. Frederick Funston, who Fort Funston is named after. Private William Tompkins is buried here. And look, a female. That's pretty cool. 30,000 soldiers buried all in here. Again, I'm just gonna try to trigger these voices. So if there's any spirits here, right now that wants to say something whisper something whisper in the mic right there maybe quiet i don't know if you guys heard anything there, there is background noise 
This place is a little, it's a little scary. I mean, it's a cemetery. What do you expect? I'm gonna go look at one of the headstones. I don't wanna step on the grass again to the respect of the people who pass away, but there's a couple headstones up ahead. That's a little closer to the sidewalk. So I'm gonna walk over there, but just looking at the cemetery and seeing how massive this is, and it goes all the way up the hill, gives this nice look of how big the cemetery is. Yes, I'm walking around looking just to make sure there's nobody from a distance staring at me. Some recent Colonel Kramer, World War II, born 1915, passed away in 1984, so in my lifetime, right there. Lieutenant Ralston, U.S. Army, Vietnam, 35, passed away in 2001. This one right here is a little bit closer to the ground. Robert Laverne Hill, U.S. Air Force, Korea and Vietnam, 31 to 73. My grandfather passed away in Korea. So having him be in Korea was, was pretty close. Robert Crockett, World War I, wow, 1897. 1897. And again, a bunch more. If you see how massive, just look how far up that goes. I'm not going to go all the way up there. And then in the middle, you see that flag. It's the POW flag. You find that a lot of post office. It's a cool little piece of thing. But we're going to go walk over here to the U.S. flag right there. I know there's a lot of non-believers out here who are like, dude, you're hearing things. It could have been your hair muffling against the mic. It's not the first time. It's a couple of vlogs a while ago. A coworker told me maybe it's the new mic that you bought. Maybe it's getting interference. Maybe it's getting a radio signal from somewhere else. Maybe. Those are plausible. I mean, I'm not a ghost hunter, so I wouldn't know the technical facts of what would have or what would happen if something was accidentally heard. But what happened was I was walking, had the mic face away from me, or the camera was facing away from me, and you heard a whisper. And this happened when I went to the Sutro Heights one also. I was talking about the gazebo. Check out this gazebo. You heard a slight, yes. That's what it said. And I'm showing you, yes. That's what it sounded like. That's what, it, that's what I heard. And being here right now, just looking at everyone here that's resting in peace. That again, I'm not gonna go bother them. I'm not gonna go walk over there. It's giving me something for them. You wanna whisper, you wanna say something. Say it here, say it when I'm not talking. Here, I'll be quiet for a minute. I don't know. This is usually the area right here when they're, whenever they have a ceremony, when they're paying their final respects to someone. Usually have it right here in this area. And up there, just a little placard. Zoom in just a little bit of what this is, the dedication the Gettysburg National Cemetery. It's actually called the Gettysburg National Cemetery. Addressed by President Lincoln. Oh, no, this is the four score and seven years ago. So this is cool little area right here. And again, if you just see how massive this place is, I'm not gonna walk all the way up there. I mean, I could drive through here and I've done that once before just to see how far back it goes and it goes pretty far back and the one thing about this area is you got this view right here then if I slowly turn around this way you get a nice view of the bay and behind this building right here is the Golden Gate Bridge 
So, depends on how you look at it. It's a stunning view either way. But I'm here, again, to do one thing and one thing only. Try to trigger a voice. You guys want to speak to me. You want to whisper. You want to say something. Do it right now. Do it right now. I'm here. Don't use me as a bridge. Don't use me like Whoopi Goldberg, Goldberg in the movie Ghost. I'm not going to talk to the people that passed away. So don't do that to me. But if you guys want to say something, whisper. Maybe whisper the lotto numbers in my ears so I can win the Mega Million. Let me know. I'll donate half of that money. Not half. Some. I'll donate some of that money to the National Cemetery. Because if you guys whisper the numbers and I win, I owe it to you guys. Placard of what's here. Civil War death or dead. They talk about creating the National Cemetery. The reflection, memorization, and then the lodge at the Point, Virginia, pre-1928 is also here. And then this plot right here, it says, in honor of those who gave the ultimate sacrifice and service to the United States of America and the families they left behind, the sacrifice will never be forgotten. It's the truth, never be forgotten. We owe it all to all the people here that are buried for giving us the freedom that we have right now. This right here is just parts of the National Cemetery. And, and you can see this picture right here. You can see how old some of the guys are in there. And there's a monument. I don't know where that monument is. Maybe Maybe that monument right there is that monument right up there. Maybe, I don't know. As I walk around the bend right here and I pan over there, there's still, it still goes all the way over there. Like I said earlier, it goes all the way up there. Um, it is a little, it's peaceful, let's put it that way, it's peaceful, it's quiet, uh, they did a movie here, a movie called Alcatraz with Jorge Garcia, it's supposed to be the sci-fi thing in San Francisco where a detective, I don't know, it's supernatural, they had a, they filmed somewhere up there and they filmed into a monument inside that monument there was a or was it a mausoleum it was a mausoleum and inside that mausoleum they went down to the bottom there was this hidden thing down there and again it was sci-fi it only lasted one season and then they cut it off the air but they filmed it here in this area right here again it's pretty peaceful I keep hearing things, but it's just the wind. It's very windy. Very windy. I love how precisely straight these head these headstones are. On this side and on this side as well. You can just see how well lined up it is right there. I zoom in. You can see the straight line. And if I pan over this way, you can see the straight line as well. It's just, just one straight line. This one right here, just like the other one we just passed, you go straight line and then there's a big headstone in the middle over there. Again, this is a massive 
National Cemetery. And yes, there's somebody right in front of me, right there. Now again, a lot of you guys are wondering, Eric, did you edit the video? Did you put a sound effect in the background? And the answer is always the same. No, I didn't. I'm editing my vlogs. I'm listening to you know my audio to make sure the audio is good. And then I'll catch a whisper. It's always a whisper. There was one time where I was over down there in the marina area, the, the docks, and I was talking about COVID. I was talking about the clear skies and how the skies, there was that year that the, the skies were orange because of the fire. So I went out to the, 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 yacht, the boat yachts area, area down, down over there and I just talked about how clear it is and you can see as far as, you know, Angel Island and all that stuff. And then you can hear what sounded like, get out, get out. I was over at Green Street and I was talking about the filming locations of Marvel characters, Ant-Man and the Wasp, um, Venom, and I was walking up the hill and I was t describing a scene and then you can hear, get out. You can hear that. And that's me whispering. So if you guys look at the whisper, that's Eric who just whispered, unless you hear another voice uh, above Eric, or, you know. But those are things, and it was a different camera. It was a different microphone, so I can't say it's a microphone. can't say it was a faulty camera. Um, and at the time when I filmed that one, I think I was using a boom mic that was all connected to my camera. So, again, I'm a skeptic. I'm a believer. It could have been interference. It could have been... It could have been anything. But, you know, today I'm going to use the opportunity to come here and have anyone want to whisper. You want to have a full-blown conversation? I'm not your guy because I will run. But if you want to whisper, again, whisper me the lotto numbers. Tell me what the lotto numbers are. I'll be happy to hear it few buildings that are here. You got this one building right here. This building that I passed right here. It says private residence right there. So I don't know if someone actually lives here. Again, you got a view of the bay right there. I just came from the center over there. A person came walking in. He's standing by the restrooms. So I'm not going to go over there and film him. But he walked over in that area. And I hope it was a real person. I hope it's just not someone showing that. I, when I said talk to me, I, I didn't really mean it like that. But again, this is me just trying to trigger these voices. And knowing me, I'm not going to catch anything today. Knowing me, I came to the most the most obvious spot to try to trigger a voice, which is right here at the Golden Gate National Cemetery. You know, again, I'm not gonna disturb any of them. I'm not gonna walk on the grass to try to trigger a voice. I'm gonna stand respectfully on the cement where I am right now, and not even gonna do like a time lapse or a whatever because I'll let them, again, rest in peace. But I just want to see if there's anyone here that just wants to whisper in my mic. And again, when I hear these, I don't hear them. Like right now, I'm recording. I don't hear nothing. Nothing. Nothing's here. Nothing, nothing on the mic. Nothing here in my ears. But as soon as I get home and I start editing my vlogs, I do a little color correction on my videos. I do a little... You know, I do a little something to make the audio. Sometimes the audio is too loud, so I lower the audio level down. I do all that, and then I'll, something like, I get a whisper will just come out of nowhere. And I'd have to listen to it over and over again. The one from, the one when I was walking around the panhandle, I actually put my headphones on because I wanted to hear, because I couldn't hear what they were saying. Something was being said. I just couldn't hear what they were saying. Um, it wasn't as obvious as... The other one, like when, when I was at Sutra Heights, I was talking about the gazebo, and I was talking about when we were in high school, we used to say, 
we're going to ditch 7th period and we're going to go walk to we're going to go walk to the gazebo and we used to say we'll meet you at the gazebo that's what we used to say we'll meet you at the gazebo and something triggered that and there was a little yeah yeah that's me whispering again so if you guys say oh I heard it that's me whispering but something triggered to where it said yeah so it's just one of those things something is being triggered I don't know what it is but you know I'm, I'm here and if there's anyone here who wants to speak anyone here who wants to trigger the voices do it it's a nice day today it's a little windy I did a vlog from this park right here where the park benches are you see the park benches over there and then I did a vlog over there by the tunnel tops you see in the distance over there onto that park up there but look at the view from here you can see Berkeley you can see the Berkeley Tower if you guys look close enough again Alcatraz you can see Alcatraz Angel Island Greenbrae Tiburon Sausalito you got the big Clovis going underneath the Golden Gate Bridge all right there pretty cool again the size of this National Cemetery is probably not as big as the ones like in Washington DC up in there but there's a National Cemetery practically in a lot of cities here in the United States I know there's one in San Bruno so if you guys are ever in the San Bruno area there's a National Cemetery up there as well this is the San Francisco National Cemetery if it's still active if they're still letting people be buried here I don't know you probably have to buy a plot years ago if you wanted to be buried here I mean there is from what it looks like there is still, still possible that you can put people in here but again I don't know but again you can see the size of the cemetery right there all right guys that's going to do it for today's vlog just a little adventure again just trying to trigger this out again I am NOT a ghost hunter um, I do believe in ghosts I do believe in the supernatural sometimes you have to be a skeptic also because you have you have to try to figure out what was possible what could it possibly have been could it have been the wind blowing into the mic um, it wasn't windy yesterday I, I was or on the last vlog but I was near two busy streets which was um, Oak and Fell so those you know I had my noise cancellation turned on only because I knew it was going to be busy there was going to be a lot of background noise so I turned that on so you could only hear my voice and that shouldn't have done anything it shouldn't have done anything but I came here today pay respects to the men and the women you saw the placard that served our country and to also hear if I can trigger a voice and maybe have someone a person say something and again I won't know till post so if you guys hear this and watch this and you know you guys probably won't hear it till I post it but again watch that vlog yesterday or you know the, the last vlog that I put on and you'll hear me walking down a street explaining the street and all of a sudden you hear a little whisper you guys heard it in the beginning when I shared it with you guys in the beginning so you guys heard it then um, it's like this tree that's like behind me that's kind of freaking me out right over there um, but yeah you guys heard that then but you know again I'm just trying to see if I can trigger one that's it not a real adventure today not going around talking about the history of what part of San Francisco this is one of the oldest national cemeteries around so that's your quick 20 second history right there this is one of the oldest national cemeteries it's been around here so it's pretty cool give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like comment and subscribe leave me comments down below 
giving me a thumbs up will let me know that you guys watched the video. It will also help the algorithm out there and it will also help me out there. So giving this video a thumbs up, liking and subscribing will help the channel grow and it will help me put out more content again like this. And again, you know, my Patreon link is down below. So if there's adventures like you guys want me to go across to Alcatraz, let me know. But that does require money. And if you guys want to help me out with that, I'll be more than grateful to do that. Um, and I will use the money to do the things that you want me to do. So not, not going to be like, oh, I'm going to use it to buy new AirPods. Oh, I'm going to buy it to buy new shoes. Might buy it to buy new shoes because I do a lot of walking. But <laughs> if you guys can do that, I leave the Patreon links down below. But again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. It's a nice day today. I like it. It's beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys. The vlog's ended. Here from the National Cemetery in San Francisco. Go in peace. this.